It's hard to believe, but these energetic, intelligent and loyal dogs are on the brink of being wiped out. Celium terriers are traditionally working dogs, perfect for pest control. But they're just as happy around people and, as you can see, score pretty highly in the looks department too. But they're so underappreciated by British dog owners, they're now rarer than endangered species like pandas and tigers. This is the only litter of Celium puppies to be found anywhere in the country today. Well, you can see how cute these puppies are, but they're not just for Christmas. They come with a bit of a health warning because once you've had a Celium puppy, I'm told you'll never look back. In fact, the last royal to have had them, Princess Margaret, was so smitten with them that there were explicit instructions at Clarence House and Windsor Castle that when she was brought breakfast in bed, her two Celium terriers were brought with it. But their popularity with royalty and Hollywood stars like Alfred Hitchcock dwindled as fashions changed, leaving the breed to all but die out. I think if nothing's done between now and five years, in ten years' time, these will get lost in the mist of times and they'll just be a dog that was. You can't recreate it because the English terrier's gone and there's certain makeups in this little dog. He was put together, he was Casey Redis in 1910. You haven't got the ingredients anymore, so we can't recreate this dog. Their staggering decline has led to an SOS campaign by Harry and other Celium fans to try and spread the word about this rare breed. Celiums are really special. Uh, they are just such amazing characters. They are such an intelligent dog. They're a wonderful companion, wonderful working dog. Um, you just can't beat them. <laughs> just 49 Celium Terriers were bred last year, putting them in the Kennel Club's top three most endangered breeds. In the last 30 odd years, we've seen about another 40 or so breeds being recognised, so there's wider choice for people now. But of course, some of these terrier breeds were used perhaps for purposes that they are no longer used for. For example, for vermin control, ratting, rabbiting, that sort of thing. Attractivities that aren't so popular these days. And unless that changes, the reality is this dog may soon have had its day. Isabel Webster, Sky News in Somerset. Oh, well, it's what they call evolution, isn't it, John? <laughs> Tell me about you, the sport. You